hands, touching hands, reaching out, touching me, touching you. And welcome back to another episode of the Reading FC Career Mode. Now, we have three scouting updates to take you through. To start off this episode, uh, a goalkeeper we can keep an eye on. This guy can go. This guy can stay. Another good goalkeeper. This guy can stay. This guy can go. That guy can go. Okay, so three. Well, two good goalkeepers and uh, sort of, I don't know. Hopefully not a centre back. I can't have a five foot five centre back. I'm sorry. Central midfielder. We can only assume. Uh, yeah. Okay. That's that's what China has to give us. What does Japan have to give us? Nothing so far. Uh, we'll keep an eye on him. Oh, we're signing him. We're signing him. We're signing him. He is already good, so we'll, we'll keep it. We'll keep him around just in case we need like a bit of squad depth. Um, from Sweden, no. Maybe, no. 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 Is he? Uh, no, he's too low rated. No. No. Okay, Sweden's not really given us much to cheer about, but some decent prospects in that. Oh, regular updates. He's still 15. He's been 15 for about two years now. When Trapalo comes into the team, oh, it's going to be a great day. We'll promote him to the senior squad. Just so we can check his potential. This, hopefully he's going to be decent. Potential to be special. Potential to be special. Potential to be special. Oh. Oh, exciting prospect. It's still something, though. Centre-backs can be quite hard to pick up at a good rate, so... We'll take him. Anyway, one thing I do want to check very quickly before we get into the next game. I know I'm, I'm bluffing a bit. If we go MLS, LA Galaxy. And then if we go Swedish, there it is. No. And what if we go, okay... Bear with me. Free agent, Swedish. Okay, so there's no Ibra regen. Uh, we'll obviously keep an eye on the free agent pool for next season. But yeah, anyway, Wolfsburg, Wolfsburger, let's get into it. It's going to be very snowy, could cause us some problems. Pahovsky comes in in goal, Yeron Godin more a beta, Dorado and a bit of a tired Ampadu, he'll probably come off for Liam Kelly at some point. Sakala. Brahimi, Sancho and Al. We've swapped flanks. So Carla is now uh, is now playing on the right, Sancho on the left. Up up front, of course. Brahimi in behind. We can do this. I mean, we've already done it, but we can do this. We can get more than ten against them. Come on. Right. There's the main man, RP. Uh, yeah, he didn't do too well against Wolfsburger last time, to be honest. Got a goal, but... Missed a couple of key chances. Here we are, Europa League in the snow in Austria. Come on, you Oz. Let's do this. Up. Oh, what a goal. Up makes it eight on aggregate. Uh, game game over, man. Game over. Uh, yeah. Easy. 8-0 on aggregate. They now need nine goals to get through. Hmm. 
Arp. Well, you know, you know when everyone used to side foot it back in the back in the early days of this game. Uh, they don't do that anymore, and uh, that must be our first proper proper goal used with the the, the just you know the proper way. Running two, Wolfsberger, nil, nine nil aggregate. Arp. We'll volley, we'll miss. It was a bit too wide for him, but should have at least hit the target. Play with 95 finishing, you expect so much better than that. Arp. Got over the challenge, but just... Yeah, I don't know, I think that should be a foul, personally. What a back pose! They've scored! Oh, I... Notes of future editing, George. Please put that in. That that foul in. That <sighs> just to just to just demonstrate, you know, not not. Oh, I blame it on the snow. Whatever happens in this game, even if we score six more, still the snow has prevented me from playing at my best. Normally, isn't an excuse because they're for both teams. The other team's a computer, so. Yeah. 3 1. My dialogue about, you know. Blaming the snow. Kind of come back to haunt me there because we've just scored with Jaden Sancho. Running free, Wolfsburger 1. Up. Lines it up, scores. Like, a, like, like the sniper he is, we made it 11-1 on aggregates. Well done, well done. Arp, great goal. The destroyer can't take his chance. Liam Moore, out of beta, does it very well as well. Sakala, fashion! Can't fashion the chance for himself. Well, hey, I, I can't believe that's the, that's the first time I've said that. We've had him for like what? Many games. Up, oh, strikes it, scores! Jan Fiatarp is on fire today. Makes it 5 1 here, 12 1 on aggregate. You know, we've absolutely smashed him. Brahimi! Kills the game. 6-1. Meaning we've put 13 goals past them. 14 goal tie. We've got 13 of them. Superb performance. Convincing. Well, I said I wanted to do a professional job here. Don't get much more professional than that, does it? They scored. They scored with their only shot. That's filth. Filth, I tell ye. Great. 6-1. 13-1 on aggregate. See you in the last eight, I think. Yes, last eight. So we could play Porto. We could play Napoli. We could play Celta. We could play R Roma. We could play Rene. We could play Arsenal. Or we could play Milan. Who do we want of those? Stade Rene? I reckon. Or maybe Porto. One of those two. Preferably not Napoli. Or uh, uh, Arsenal we've beaten twice already quite comfortably this season. So. Turn on prize money. A mil. A mil. Get in. Oh, we've had our ties scheduled, I think. We'll have a look. Have we? Stad Rene. Exactly who we wanted, pretty much. And a big chance... What, what, what if Reading and Stad Rene will be in the semi-final of the U U Europa League? That's that's a bit mad. Uh, should we see the other ties going on? Celta Napoli. Come on, Celta Vigo. Arsenal, Roma, Porto, Milan. Okay. we Now we're in to win it. Now we're so close to the last four. Anyway, Brentford. Okay, a place at Wembley on the line for the Royals. Against the Bees. Always a difficult game. We can't go full strength. We've got to make some changes. Oh, 
I think that's all we're doing. That's all we're doing. Risky, but we can do it. Come on, you ours. Here we go. At Griffin Park. Or is it the Brentford Community Stadium? I don't know. I think we're still at Griffin Park. Any, any Brentford people in the know, you might watch this, let me know if this is still Griffin Park in 2020. Because uh, I know it, it's, this, it's 2020 they move into their new stadium. Anyway, <laughs> whatever. For a place in the last four and at Wembley in the FA Cup. Come on, you ours, let's do this. We can push Kelly up because he's not really going to do much for us. And score, Brentford lead. Is that Urbaggio? It is Moses Urbaggio gives Brentford the lead. Our oh, kryptonite. 1 0 Brentford. Genuinely easy play, easier playing against United. Although it's opened up for us here as Brahimi scores. As I say that. Yancy M. Brahimi fires the rule, turns his back on them. I had thought he'd have celebrated in front of them rather than turning his back, but whatever. Oh, running one, Brentford one, back in this. Come on. Don't give up. Don't stop fighting. The destroyer doing what he loves to do. Up. Back to Brahimi. Into Barrow. Can create a bit of space. Now Liam Kelly, Reading 2, Brentford 0. Great move, and it's the Academy product with the final product, which is, of course, a goal. Fantastic. Great move. Brahimi, Arp, nice little shimmy, and then he didn't come out for it, so Kelly will just bury it in the bottom corner. Reading 2, Brentford 1. Quick turnaround by the Royals. That's great work by Sancho. Unlucky. Unlucky for Arv. Yeah, Dom. Finished! Off nicely by the Algerian wonder. Yancien Brahimi. Well, it was great work by Andy Yeardom. I can't remember how much I was talking. I was very focused. And uh, Brahimi sticks it in the back of the net. Reading free, Brentford one. Well, well done. Well done. Kelly. Destroyer. Everyone. So for whatever reason here, the audio kind of cut out, but... We're through to Wembley! The last four of the FA Cup. And it's, uh, it's, a, it's a good day for the club. No doubt about that, it's a good day for the club. Uh, Everton, Fulham. No, Everton, Southampton. And Burnley. I class that as doable, you know? I class that as doable. Southampton and, Southampton and Burnley... Everton are the only difficult side there, really. They're beatable. They are beatable. Should we see who we're going to play? Another million pounds. Oh. Southampton at Wembley. Cool. So, uh, I'm not sure if it is. Yeah, we play, we play those opponents next. Play the Saints. And then Watford. Okay. So a, tri a tricky episode, but a winnable episode. Anyway. What did, what did United do while we were, we were away, by the way? They haven't... Did they drop points? Haven't played. Okay. That's fine. The game must have been postponed. Anyway. Did anyone play that weekend? Or were they just no fixtures? They were just no fixtures scheduled. Cool. If you did enjoy this episode, please do leave a like. Subscribe if you're new and turn notifications on. I've been RuseDC17 as Pahovsky reaches 6 and race. So close to that 70. He's, he's becoming very good. And yes. 
I will see you in the next episode. He's still 15. Cheerio. All die verschwommenen dunklen Bilder werden klar Und alles was sie sagt wird wahr Ich bin so schön verstrahlt Ich heb ab zum Mars 10.000 Grad 10.000 Farben Bin so schön 